Hello there everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Jan Dark. In the last episode, we defeated Queen Isabeau and her Reaper Luxuria, and in this episode, we are heading to the... Guillory Canal, I, su I assume that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> it's beautiful. Hmm. Alright. Oh. Oh, what? Oh my god. It looks like a <laughs> It's like a bulldog mixed with a panda or something. <laughs> or, or no, not a panda, a dalmatian is more like it. It probably is a bulldog dalmatian thing. Who knows? Oh, well, you know, we're just passing by. But we don't really want you to pick on this little cute little cub. Oh, it's the best animal in the game. Oh, so that's how you want to go. Okay, let's go. RKO. That was pretty easy. You see, we are the swag crew. Raho Raggy? It's like this is Scooby Doo's ancestor right here. Yay, we're finally trusted! Oh, now we gotta deal with some rhinos, of course. There's always a... Some kind of, uh... Something in the way. <laughs> Especially... Terry and Grunts, because... You know, they, they, they just are. Ain't no way you're getting to this cub. We will protect the Chicago Cub. Yeah, let's get out of here. Huh? The riverbank. Okay. Okay, we'll do that then. Alright, so stage 27. This one is actually... Pretty easy. Um, now one thing I just want to mention. Lately, I've been playing a game called Rogue Galaxy. By, uh... You know what? I don't know, but it, it's developed by level 5. Qesis? Um... Kyoesis is pretty much in that game. Um, I mean, it's the same. They got it's got the star on the chest. It's got the little thing with the hair. I'll I'll put a picture up so you guys can see. But it's scary. I tell you what. So, uh, okay. I don't have a counter two yet. Um, uh, I kind of want some characters that can move rather quickly. So. Okay, first off, let me just mention that the boats over here will leave after, like, ten turns or something. So, yeah. Gotta be aware of that. So, definitely want Rufus in, because, you know, Rufus is kinda overpowered. Uh, Jeel. I want my really... I want my characters that are able to move rather... Rather quickly, um, to be able to be in this level. Uh, I suppose I could put Rose in here, too. And I can put in one more character. How about Qesis? Because, well, he appears in another game, too. And they do the exact same thing in both games. Binding stuff. While in this game, it's binding skills. In Rogue Galaxy, he combines weapons. So there's a bit of a difference there. But still, when I saw that, I was like... WHAT IN THE WORLD?! And it's weird, because... 
I thought I had gotten stuck in the very first world of Rogue Galaxy the first time I tried to play it. Um, you know, for those that have played it, uh, it's like the gr the grassy planet, you know, the jungle. Uh, Jerica, I think it's called. So, I, I thought I got stuck on my first playthrough, but then I got to the second area where you're essentially a prisoner. And then, I'm like, but I remember this. How did I miss the toad? Because they call him Toady in that game, which is kind of a stupid name if you ask me. But I was just, you know, it's just one of those things. I never realized he had a cameo in that. Well, actually, no. That game came first. Uh, Rogue Legacy did. So, wait, no, not Rogue Legacy. Dang it, Will. <laughs> My friend Will kept saying, Rogue l l Legacy? Like, exactly like that. Not like, stuttering just as a joke. And then, no, I'm like, Rogue Galaxy. My friend Keeler knows what I'm talking about. But I'm just like, I saw that and I just couldn't help but be amazed. And if you follow me on Twitter, you definitely would have seen how I reacted to that. And good, Kole can actually take out the Ceratoth in one hit. It's nice. Doing pretty good so far, actually. And that's Dressperation 3. I'm not sure if I have that on Rufus yet. It's been a while. Yeah, I do. Okay. No biggie. Um, Richard, move forward. But I don't want him to move right next to the ogre. Just because he could probably do some serious damage to Richard if he hits at all. So I want to be a little bit careful about that. Alright. Go... As for Qesis, move him into the burning aura. Oh my god. Whoops, I kind of messed that up. Oh well. Yeah, these ogres have HP recovery. I really hope he doesn't gain over 100 damage. And he didn't. Okay. It's not an HP recovery too. I, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to equip skill shakedown on Kole. I mean, I don't really need all of these... Uh... HP recoveries because I've gotten quite a good number of them so it doesn't really matter but the more you can get the better you can always grind for them later though so I mean you know pick your poison I suppose so Rose attack from actually no you know what you can get over here might as well attack from there yep and then you know Rufus can get a burning aura while he doesn't really need it. I mean, let's face it, Rufus is just a beast. Oh my god, 412. Without even a helm splitter. And at a critical hit. Excellent. And, okay, 56 gold, not bad. Um, if you ever need money, like, sell some of those, um, skills like Wallop and Breath, because you can't really use them for many, uh, many many binding many skills I should say um, so you know it's just not as useful um, it's just better to sell it so hopefully I can get over to those first boats within 20 turns uh, there's no doubt in my mind that Kole can do it I mean Kole's mobility is like what seven I think unfortunately I don't have any mobility plus ones which do exist and we have an opportunity to get them in the next level. So I'm really looking forward to that. And 61 damage? Eh, he can take it like a man. Because, I mean, the Cyclops won't be able to do anything to him. So I'm not too concerned, really. Alrighty. Another HP recovery. Because he needs it. And let's see here. Jan, I, ah, unfortunately I can't really do much, but just, you know what, just move forward all the way, why not, might as well, and then I can just have Richard use some sort of magic on this guy, but first I'm, I just want to see what all I can do, um, Rose attack from here, and then I can get Cole actually a burning aura possibly, Probably with the two hits, that'll really help. Uh, unfortunately, Rufus is now a little bit behind. 
but uh, it's not the end of the world, really. Let's see, Qesis, move up here. And then Thunderbolt 2. 131, I'll take it. That's still slightly above what he'll recover each turn. Um, however, I, if I can take him out this turn, you know, that'd be awesome. Let's see, move Jeel here, and Thunderbolt 2 as well. I'm sure Kolei can take him out at this point, but I just want to be certain. So, let's see, what else can I do? Richard can use a spell right next to him. Looks like. Yep. Uh, Thunderbolt? Might as well. And then Kolei can just take him out. Lickety split. No problem whatsoever. And let's do this. Let's see if I don't need two hits. Okay, I do need to. I did not equip two hits. Why didn't I equip two hits? I need a critical hit right here. Thank God. I really don't know why I didn't equip two hits. I don't know what the hell happened, but... Yeah, that's kind of a problem. I mean, luckily... Kolei ought to be okay without it, but like... I just don't understand why I don't have two hits on equipped. I mean, it's one thing to not have skill shakedown, but like, no two hits either? Hmm. I messed up this time, guys. And, I mean, at least he can still do about 100 damage a turn. I'll take that. Because like, half my party can't even do that. Oh, this is just a wonderful battle so far all right so let's see I'm gonna move Richard forward if I can but uh, gosh okay I get it with the HP recoveries we get it that's that's the only thing I don't like is that HP recoveries take up so much time uh, let's see uh, yeah I can move Richard behind you so then I can use a fireball to on the Gazelleth, just to sort of, you know, weaken it. And then I can just have other characters go after the Shadow Lord? Phantom Lord. Same difference. Alright. Now attack. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use a triple slash. I have the extra MP. And 131. Nice. Nice. Now, who really needs the experience? I don't think I'm going to have Kiwisis kill him. Because, well, quite frankly, I don't... Well, okay, first first and foremost, I gotta take out this ogre before I even think about taking out the uh, Phantom Lord all the way. Alright, good, a critical hit, nice. And then, uh... Kolei, move behind him, because you have enough mobility, you'll be okay. Um... Let's see here. What do I want to do first? Uh, Rufus, what can you do? Uh, not much. Um, can you by chance give uh, Kolei a strength tonic? No, you cannot. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, just wait, I guess. Or, for a little bit of experience, I'll give you a healing herb. Why not? <laughs> okay. Now, I... I pretty much have... Oh, this is very interesting. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I'll just have Jeel transform. That'll work. Because, one... I can do... I can get at least one uh, god speed effect this turn with the uh, Phantom Lord. That shouldn't be uh, that hard to take out, I wouldn't think. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Just... There we go. Now, I gotta take out the Gazelleth if possible. Ooh, he got a lot of experience from that. Alright, and then what can you do to the Gazelleth? That's what I want to know. Oh, uh, I don't like those odds. What about it with the Deific Talons? Actually, less. Uh, okay, that's a little weird. But can Qesis attack the Gazelleth? No, he can't. 
Well, shoot. I think I know what I can do. Is just use Thunderbolt 2 then on the Ogre. And then... Probably have... Geel attack it. I don't even think Geel can take it out, to be perfectly honest. We'll have to wait and see. Oh. You know what? I don't... I don't want to do that. So instead, Kalei, you attack the ogre. Because I know you can kill it. No doubt. It's like, if you need Kalei to get a kill, just like add about 20 damage to the attack and he'll most likely do it for you. That just seems to be the case. Now well, let's see here now. Jeel, I'm really hoping you get a critical hit, but it's not the end. Oh, he did. <laughs> okay. Now, we have five more turns. Well, really, they, the boats leave on turn 11. So I'm just going to start taking care of the Saratoth over here. Just so I can make it a bit easier on the rest of my party. I'm, I am going to need to possibly use a Nimble Tonic on Rufus, though. Just because of his horrendous mobility. Trust me, we can improve it, though. So, just stick around with his mobility a little bit. Because we're getting to the point in the game now where uh, we're start, we'll be able to get some mobility plus ones rather easily. Whether it's with skill shakedown or something else. Or just, you know, getting him from the uh, enemies. Now, do you remember the Colosseum? Yeah, I'm going to take my time with that because there's actually a couple of pretty difficult enemies in there that I don't want to deal with um, until I'm a bit higher leveled with everybody. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's move Rufus right here. Use a Nimble Tonic with his turn so I don't waste anybody else's um, turn. And then I can just have everybody else move forward. At this point in time, I am not concerned with taking all the enemies out. I'm only concerned with moving forward. Um, you know, Geo needs the experience more, so Richard just stay put, and everybody else just move forward. Now, if I'm not mistaken, no ally can fall in this battle. Let me just make sure that's the case. Yeah, a single ally falls, so be careful about that. Make sure you stay healed. And, yep, overall this battle isn't that bad. You just got to make sure you, you're constantly moving. Uh, because really that ogre and cyclops at, like at the beginning are like really the only things I can see that could slow you down. So, I mean, as long as you're okay there, you ought to be all right to finish it. And let's just get a back attack really quick. Just for, you know, guaranteed damage. There we go. All right. So that battle, well, that enemy's taken care of, and only 15 experience. Not the best, but hey, it's experience nonetheless. Um, yeah, Geo, you can't do much. See, I could have Geo just go, but then he'll be out of the battle for the rest of the turn. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have him move closer to this item and just have him pick that up. I mean, it certainly can't hurt. And I have some time to spare. Now, in regards to the Cyclops here, I'm mainly going to be using magic to attack it. But if it comes after me, I am going to be a little bit concerned. I think Rufus might have to stand guard for at least one turn, though. Just because he can handle any attack that thing were to deal to him. Alright, let's see what we got. Um, Richard, just move forward about here, I guess. Just so as long as I can attack. Okay, then maybe right here. That should be close enough. And it is, so at least I'm doing some damage to it. Again, if you can get an HP recovery here, more power to you. But I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, then Rose... Uh, let's wait a little bit on Rose and just to see what I can do. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and at least use a Helm Splitter on the Cyclops. I mean, 
it's a little bit more in, in terms of MP, but, you know, it'll help with my attacks with Rose, at the very least. And, oh, he actually got hit. That's not that big of a deal. Rufus can take it and all day, every day. Now, am I going to be able to take it out? Maybe. There's a slim chance. It just depends on how much damage I can do with Qesis's Thunderbolt 2. Hopefully, it's enough. And, not quite, but I believe if I just use one, a file, if I have one, I can take it out. Now, do I? I do not have a file. Okay. Well, in that case, I will just have Cole heal Qesis. Actually, no, he doesn't need to heal anybody. I could have Cole over there, but that's not where I need him. Uh, I'll I'll have him as a bit of a backup, I guess. Uh, I don't really need him over here, but hey, not much else I can do. I I am gonna move Jan though, because unfortunately, I can't really attack with Jan. I forgot to give her magic again, so yeah, I did not come. I did not come with the best skills equipped. That's my bad. Ooh, we got Man Eater. That might be useful. Maybe. It just depends on the type of area that we'd be in. Like if there's a lot of enemies. Like there is actually a couple of levels uh, coming up where that would actually prove to be useful. Um. But then again, I don't like to equip it just because I'd forget I'd forget about it really quickly. So, and come on, yeah. All right, so we took out the Cyclops. Now we just gotta take out the Ceratops and no HP recovery. Oh my god. <sighs> I hope I can do some pretty good damage to the Ceratops though. Let's see. I mean. Oh god, not Mighty Roar. Please, not Mighty Roar. Shh. Gotta be kidding me. I don't have Cure either. This sucks. It looks like I'm gonna have to have some characters go that way. Unless there's like some sort of item. Oh, I have Skill Snatcher. Well, I wish I knew that. Um... Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about it. Yeah. Crap. Well. Hmm. This is a real dilemma. Kiwisis, please tell me you can do something good. Okay, that's some decent damage. And he could probably make it by the end of turn 11. Um, my main concern is just... Um... Uh, what's his face? Rufus being able to get to the uh, boats. I mean, can he? That's that's the question. All right, some more damage. Like I can attack with Rose. That's perfectly fine. Cause Rose has enough mobility. She has like mobility of six. Cause I mean, she could get there in two turns from where she is. Oh gosh, you gotta be kidding me. It looks like I'm gonna have to have some characters stay behind. I really didn't want to do that. But I think I'm gonna have to. It happens. So, since I'm not too concerned about what happens to Kole, he can just take it out. This stupid Ceratops. I really wish I could've... Oh my god, this battle's taking forever. Okay. I might not have to have Rufus or somebody stay behind. Maybe. I want to at least get Jan over there just to be sure. Uh, now, I'm just going to end my turn. I really hope... Because it actually wouldn't be that bad. These are the only two enemies we have left. So if that happens, I'll just, you know, do a quick jump cut or something. Oh, God. Okay, Rufus. You ought to be okay. I hope you still have that mobility plus one, though, on you. That'd be really good to have. Okay, we get it. We get it. I don't need to see this. Just do it automatically. That'd be nice. 
Um, now, do you still have mobility plus one? No, you don't. Well, okay. I feel comfortable with just using another Nimble Tonic on Rufus right now, this turn, because I know Rose can definitely make it. It's just a matter of if Rufus can make it. Now, I'm pretty sure the boat leaves on turn 11. If that's the case, we ought to be good to go. But, I just really hope that's the case. So, there's no way Rose can be attacked, I don't think. So, I'm just going to move everybody forward. Hopefully, this will all work out. I'm really hoping it will. Alright, just move forward. Jan, just get up here. Again, I don't want her to be on the boat quite yet. I just want to get everybody as close as I can at this point. Now, if the boat leaves on turn 11, excellent. If not, I'm screwed. Not, well, I shouldn't say that. So I'll still be able to finish it. It's just, it'll take a lot longer than I would like. Oh God. Okay, good. She's out of range. Excellent. Okay, more HP recoveries. Come on! It's getting down to the wire! Come on! I get it! <sighs> Alright, Rose. How far can you go? Okay, that's actually really far. Now, if I can just get Rufus onto those steps, I should be home free. And, okay. Now, luckily, once they all go into the boats, um... I don't really have to worry about uh, everybody else because um, what what am I what am I trying to say? Um, once they get onto those steps, they'll be in the boat. Um, all seven of us can be in the boat, so it's all good. Um, okay, come on, please tell me the boat's not leaving yet. Oh God, the suspense is real. Come on. Yes. Okay. This battle is over, everybody. <laughs> Pretty much. It was a little bit close, but... Hey, oh, my bad. I kind of skipped over a line of dialogue. But you can always pause that if you want. Alright, come on, Jeel. Yeah, they don't really have that much to say anyway, so it's like, is it that big of a deal? It probably is to so some of you being like, Oh my god, I really wanted to see what he said. Oh... But, whatever. It, what's done is done. Alright, come on. Yeah, come on, guys. Watch, like, if that Saratoth was still here. It's like on turn 10, a character would be Mighty Roared. That'd be the biggest troll ever. At least in this game. Well, actually, this game's full of little trolls like that. Oh, God, that would have been bad if I just ended the turn by accident. Oh, man. But this battle is done! Hallelujah! And, uh... Yeah. Elder. Okay. So that stage is finally done. It took a while, but... At least... At least nobody died. Because then the battle would have been failed. Now, again, if you don't get all your characters there by turn 11, don't worry. You just have to take the other boat then. So, you know, that's why I like to just go for that first boat if I can. Unless I'm really under level, then I would go for the other And luckily, there's no dialogue afterwards. So, we can now head to the Paris Warren, which we'll be doing in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and later days.